Hello, this is Troy at Geotronics, and uh, we're going to go through a update process on a Topcon receiver. Today's receiver is the Hyper-V. Most all receiver firmware loading will be very, very similar. Uh, so what we do want to do first, we want to make sure we have a fully charged battery. We also have the charger connected to the unit itself. And then we want to make sure we have the proper serial cable either going to a serial port or USB port, but you will need a hard cable. We cannot do the update through the uh, Bluetooth, so uh, we'll, we'll have to have a hard connection to the receiver. It's definitely preferred and um, have everything ready to go before you start the process. We'll go into the Topcom Receiver Utility Program. The first thing we're going to do is check for the uh, software version. We're going to do that by going to device, connect, you'll select the appropriate port that you'll be using. I'm currently using a USB serial port adapter that landed on COM3. This will vary on your machine most likely, but uh, we'll, once we discover which one we need, we'll hit the connect. It will initialize the connection and then we'll move into information and we'll look at our current software uh, firmware version. It's 4.1 that was created in May of 2013 so this is a little bit old. Also we'll come down the page and we'll notice the model of our receiver is a BX10 board. You can have varying uh, boards on GRX2's, Hyper2's, Hyper-V's and when we grab the firmware we want to make sure that we get the BX10 board firmware. Uh, also, this one, uh, the auxiliary board firmware is old. The current version is 2.2. Now this software will have to be loaded through the SD card in the SD card port under the battery. So you'll need to get a SD card and let the uh, receiver format it. It will create a file format structure and you will load a special file into the um, into the firmware slot or folder and then there's a special instruction for those that will not can uh, have on this video here but we may create another or it'll definitely have some documentation but right now we're going to be concerned about this firmware version here the 4.1 will be moving to 4.7 p7 which is the latest we'll disconnect and then we'll change modes we're going to go to the firmware loading mode. You'll notice we'll go to only one icon, and it is called firmware loading. We'll go to device and connect again, and connect and let it establish communication. We'll notice this by COM3 being active here, and we'll press the firmware loading box. Now, we won't change this over to two file structure. And it does let us know that it requires a serial connection. We'll hit next. And it will grab the receiver. It'll report back what we currently have. Again, we're working with the firmware version. We'll be moving 4.1 to 4.7 P7. And next, it will let us know how we're going to connect or what speed. 115.2 is the default. The packet size is 5.12. All of that will default. There will be no need for change there. Hit next. Then we'll need to browse our machine and find the file that is required. This is the BX10 board. The first file is called RAM image and the second file will be called main. It's under the same firmware version. Now we have the um, we have these files available online at a Google Drive link. Um, there will be a document that's uh, out on our website. It will be out on Facebook. It will be out on LinkedIn. It will be available if you email us and request it, but we'll give you the path so you can download these from the, our site. Um, and uh, we'll guide you any way that we can. So once we select the uh, files, we'll hit Next, and it will begin to capture the device and it will go through this process. Now this process will take probably about two to three minutes so I'm going to pause the video 
for sake of time and then pick back up as it progresses. Okay, we're going to jump back in as we approach the end of this software load. Now that has taken a little over two minutes, two, two and a half minutes uh, at this point. And um, it is coming to the close here. So just have to be patient. Don't pull the cord or anything. Let it finish. Okay, once it's successfully loaded. Receiver shutting down will hit OK and as you hear the receiver will shut down and then it will reboot as it reboot connect again and then once we initialize the connection we'll move to information and now we're at a current version 47 P7 so um, that's pretty much it uh, we'll hit X there